Hello, in this tutorial we will learn how to change materials by the click of a button. First, let's go to 3ds Max and we will need additional objects to place materials somewhere. It may be any object, a cube, a plane, I prefer a sphere. The important part is that the object from which we will take the material needs to be really close to the object on which we will apply the material in its technical structure. For example, if we have two UV maps on this object, we need to have two UVs on this object as well. In this case, we have two UV maps on this object. One is for main texture, main material, and second is for ambient occlusion texture. So, let's do the same for the sphere. First, I will add the unwrap modifier. With map channel set to 1. Let's apply it and add another unwrap modifier. Here let's change map channel to 2. And move in dialog window. Let's apply it as well. Now we also have two UV maps on this object. We will have three materials to choose from, so I'll copy the sphere two times. Now let's go to Material Editor, Slate Material Editor, and let's create the materials which we will use for the frame of the knife. The first material will be wood, so let's call it properly. Let's open the folder with our textures and select all the textures that we need for wood material. Now let's just plug them in just like we did in one of first tutorials in this series. So the first material is ready, let's assign it to one of the spheres. Ok, now let's add second material. It will be carbon. And also let's drag and drop all the textures that we need for this material. Let's assign it to second object. Alright, now it's time for the third sphere for the third material. It is blue plastic, we already have it assigned to the frame of the knife. We need this to return back to the original material after we try others, in case if we prefer it more. If we will not do it, this material will disappear from the scene, because it's not used anywhere anymore. So, let's just assign our plastic material to this sphere. Alright, and let's also hide it. Ok, now everything is ready. Let's export it to Verge 3D. Now, let's go right away to the puzzles editor. We need to add logic for material change to these buttons. For that we need when clicked puzzle and the trigger for it will be wood button. To change material we need puzzle assign material from the materials group. And here from the list let's select the needed material. Wood. Also here we need to set the target object for material change. Let's start the logic. Now let's press wood button and material is changing. Now we just need to do the same for other three buttons. Let's copy this puzzle group and just change the names wood to carbon here and here. 
and the third button. So the button plastic and material plastic. Now let's start it, let's save it and actually let's see the results in the main application. Let's change to carbon, then to wood and back to plastic. Ok, everything is working, that's all, see you in the next tutorial.